In this lesson, we are going to add a dynamic SVG graphic to a WinCC unified faceplate. In order to add in a graphic image or a dynamic SVG into a faceplate, you have to create a type for your graphic and have it managed in the project library. I'm going to select my Libraries tab. I'm going to right click on Types and I'm going to select Add New Type. I want to make sure that I have graphic and dynamic SVG selected for the type. I do have to pick what type of image it's going to be that I'm going to bring in. Is it a graphic or is it going to be a dynamic SVG? I have to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one fan because we're going to bring in a fan type object. And I'm going to select OK. So now that added a dynamic SVG type underscore fan into the project library. This happens to be the default graphic image for the dynamic SVGs, which is the graphic image that we are going to use. If you would like to replace it, you can right click on the image and pick replace with other dynamic SVGs. Then you would be able to pick another .svg HMI file. There's a large number of them that are available to you. So I'm going to select Cancel. I'm going to right click on my dynamic SVG type in my project library. And I'm going to select Release Version. I'm going to keep Delete Unused Type Versions checked and select OK. I'm going to open up my FP graphics screen. In a previous lesson, we created a faceplate FP underscore PLC data type. What I'm going to do is just right click on this and select duplicate type. I'm going to give it a name and it's going to be called graphic, FP underscore graphic. And I will say OK. So now I have the FP underscore graphic faceplate managed in the project library. What I'm going to do is right click on the FP underscore graphic faceplate and select edit type. In a previous lesson, we used the circle object to display the status of our fan. You will notice that in our toolbox, there is not a folder for dynamic SVG, so they cannot be directly brought into a faceplate. You do have access to the actual WinCC graphics folder. If you would try to bring in one of the objects, it's not going to allow you to do that. So you have to create a type, whether it's a graphic or a dynamic SVG, and have it managed in the library to be able to use it inside of the faceplate. So I'm going to delete the circle. I'm going to select my Libraries tab. And I'm going to pick my dynamic SVG fan type and bring that in. I'm going to select the properties for the dynamic SVG. Under miscellaneous and in the interface area, you can change the basic color or you can change the contrast color. I'm going to change the contrast color. So I'm going to select Tag. And I'm going to minimize the Libraries tab right now. And I'm going to browse for my tag. So I'm going to select Fan and then the Start element. And I'm going to do a range animation. I'm going to add in a condition. The condition is going to be 1. And the contrast color is going to be green. So you can see that the FP Graphic is still in work, so I'm going to right click on it 
and select Release Version. And I will keep Delete Unused Type Versions checked and say OK. And I will bring in an instance of our FP graphic. I will go down in, underneath the miscellaneous area in the interface and I will assign it to the fan underscore db underscore fan one, which is of the fan data type. I will select my HMI, start my simulation. We'll select the faceplate graphic screen. I'll toggle the status of my faceplate. And you can see the blower change color, which is the dynamic SVG graphic image. In this lesson, we added a dynamic SVG graphic to a WinCC unified faceplate.